Hey everybody, Steve Bergen here, and let's talk about organizing your iPad. I've made up this um, artificial exercise of let's put three apps that begin with A to M into a folder called A to M, and three apps that begin with N to Z into a folder called N to Z. It's just artificial, but it gives us something great to work on for you to practice. So these apps from A to M, um, I've got a whole page of apps that begin in alphabetical order um, because I prefer keeping my apps in alphabetical order, but that's my own bias. So I'm going to put the first three apps into a folder. When you click on an app and hold it, it wobbles and stays wobbling even though I released my finger. Now when I pick up A plus spelling and drop it on audio memos, as soon as I drop it right on it, it puts them into a folder and it calls the folder education. I mouse click after the N and I backspace and I'm going to put this into a folder called A to M. Capital M. If I click outside of the folder, like in the top right inch of the screen, if I hit the home button, that is, I go back and you can see I have two things in a folder. I'll now pick up Boot Book Creator, click and hold it so it wobbles, and now when I come over to that folder, right, it's going to let me drop. I missed it. I'll do it again. Click, release, drop. And now I've got three things in a folder. Well, the home button or belly button always takes you back to the home screen. Those three things that are in the folder can be added to. So I could put my Bob Dylan bootleg app into that. And now I've got four. You can double click it to open it and you can take things out. I like to toss them in the upper right. And if you toss them all the way so there's nothing left, then that folder disappears. You rename by going to the top and typing. So it's fairly intuitive, useful if you're the kind of person who likes to keep things into a folder. Belly button, home button. I'll do it one more time with N to Z. Notice that I don't like keeping things in folders. That's my own bias. I like keeping things in alphabetical order. So I'm going to take bootleg and click and hold and put it up between calendar. I'm going to take Chegg and click and hold and put it between B and C. I'm going to take book creator and put it there. So if you're looking at my iPad, I tend to leave things in alphabetical order. And when things are in the wrong spot, for example, in the bottom right, you see chatter picks. I will click on it, hold it, take it over to the left, and now find the correct alphabetical order to put it in. And I am a little obsessed about alphabetical order, but I've tried other schemes, and those other schemes don't work for me. So if I now going to make a folder called N to Z, I just put any file, any app, I drop it on the app that I want it to be in the same folder, and I release, and the system names with whatever name it wants, whatever it can think of, as these two having something in common. If I click at the rear end of productivity, I can press the backspace button, which is right next to the P, the delete button, and I can just call it Shift N to Z as part of the exercise folder. Click the belly button or home button, and you're back to looking at that screen. 
add something to it? Sure, pick, click, hold, and drop into it. You gotta be careful, I wasn't, and I missed. Now I've got three things in my N to Z folder. I don't like the name of it, so I double click on it, and now I go to the top, and now I can um, do whatever typing I want to organize the apps, the name of those things. Remove something from it, click, drag to the upper right, go back to it, click and drag to the upper right, and the folder itself, which is still there, will disappear when it has zero apps in it. Always the home button, belly button, where it gets you back to normal. Notice that you have five things, five things in the bottom in the dock. I suggest to everybody that camera should be in the dock. It's not anymore. Settings should be in the dock. It's not anymore. But you just take things and move them into the dock. And you can even put them in whatever order you want them to be in. And you can have up to six things. I'll put Kindle, which I love using, into the dock. Now I've got six in the dock. All right. I hope that helps you. And I hope you get organized according to the style that you like getting organized. We all have our own system of keeping track of paper and clothes and shoes. So you figure out the system, but folders helps some people, right, in terms of how they want to keep things so they have easy access to it. Okay, Steve Bergen signing off. Good luck.